talk about this, but let me tell you something about the trauma effect. And I've been talking about it since I've been up here. The trauma effect is, now two things, your melanin enhances through stress. You know what it is, but that's even in the boy's book, uh, Rick Strassman's book, DMT and the spirit, spirit Molecule. Whenever they studied melanin, melatonin, serotonin under stress, it produced this God-like energy under stress. But it shuts down in trauma. You see what I'm saying? In trauma. So every week, whenever, every, every time something happens, when they see they study the spring equinox, the summer equinox, the fall equinox, the summer solstice, the winter solstice. Spring equinox, fall equinox, winter solstice, summer solstice. Every time these cardinal points, which is the four sons of harvest, the four, the four seasons, the four cycles, when these things come astrologically and astronomically, and they study these things, then they'll say, look, we got to put a trauma point in to affect the God-like people. Other God people. The first thing you do is you get all mad. It upsets you. And once it upsets you, it shuts your system down. So the time when the fall equinox is coming in, you see them. So the fall equinox is the time in the Christian mythology for the Archangel Michael. In Kemet, it's Raheru Kahuti. A Rahar Kuit. A Raheru Kahuti which is also Samson in another mythology. In, 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 uh, in uh, Greece, it's Apollo and Hercules. But if you take it back, it's a Horus festival. It goes on from July to November. You get Barbara G. Walker's book, Encyclopedia of Women's Myths and Secrets. A must read. Barbara G. Walker's book, the mythology, the women's encyclopedia of myths and secrets. Every black person should have one. And in there, another name for Jesus is Jason. Now Jason is nothing but a Greek form of Horus or Heru. Actually, the Jason story comes out of the library of Alexandria. So the Jason, which is Horus, and the story of Jason and the Argonauts, July, August, September, October, November. Jason. That's a horror cycle. You see what I'm saying? From the rising of, of the star Sirius and the energy carries on in. And the harvest, the great harvest is in the fall of the year. The horn of plenty, the harvest, and the harvest goes all the way through the day of the day, the All Saints Day. And our day of the day for us is Halloween. All Saints, only into Thanksgiving. They got Thanksgiving rituals all through the, there's a Thanksgiving ritual in, in, in I think in, in Egyptian text, there's also one in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Ain't got nothing to do with no pilgrim and no turkey and no Indians. Teach us the white folks how to live when they take the land. <laughs> they give you that, it's got something to do with another spiritual system up under it. So Jason, July, October, September, November, um, November, J July, August, September, October, November. Now look at all the crazy stuff that happened to black people during that particular time. You understand what I'm saying? Nuisance, trauma. And they gave you an, a, a whole canopy of stuff to keep your mind shut down. And these are the times when your spiritual centers, this is the time when, the, when I went to the doorway and knocked and said, hey man, I'm tired, was ready to cross on through. And it was like, you can't cross through as Bobby Hammett, you can't cross through with no human thoughts. It can be a monster. It can't be human. And monster just means the stuff that is non-human that you don't understand because of your mute. And it shows up as the monster. It's in the venue of the book of the gates. When you go through the so many hours of the nights and you're trying to cross into the land of coming forward by day of the, of the kingdom of Osiris, you meet up with the monster. The monster is only your true self looking back at you saying, Hey, I'm not human. I'm not you. That's a program that you've been experiencing. Ain't none of that on this other side. You might have a concept and a perception of that, but on this side, it's something totally different. You see what I'm saying?
saying that it's only showing up as a monster. You get what I'm coming from here? And you have to get rid of Bobby Hemet. Just like you did in 2002, you got to get rid of even the part that thought it was lonely when you stepped up to the gate. You got to give up. It's in the movie Fight Club. Very violent movie.